The COMFAS model CF EW72 acts as an access point, router, bridge, and repeater. The contents include the access point. power cable, power injector, the ports that are included on the power injector are the LAN, the PoE, and the power. There are two ports on the back of the injector, the PoE and the LAN. The access point will be plugged into the PoE portion. The LAN, you would plug in an outside switch, a router, or your cable modem. The contents also include a network wire. This will be the network wire that you would use to plug in the access point to the PoE. I'll demonstrate it here. Also, two ports on the back of the access point. The left one here is the LAN. The right one is the WAN. Depending on your application, you may need to use one or the other, never both. For my application, I'll be setting this up as an access point, so I'll use the left port, the LAN port. The outside LAN would then be plugged into the PoE injector. However, for the basic setup, I would recommend that you leave the LAN portion unplugged. I'll explain this later. The contents also include two external Omni antennas that are simply screwed on to the end of the access point. We are now ready to power up the unit. We simply plug in the power cord to the end of the PoE injector and then into our power source. There is a light on the injector to let you know that there's power supplied to the injector. We now check the access point to make sure the indicating lights are now on. We have successfully powered up the access point. Remember to leave the LAN port unplugged until the next step. Now that we've powered up the unit, we can now connect to it. Usually it's indicated by COMFAST and then some random numbers in either 5 or 2 gig. We're going to connect to the 5 gig and navigate to this URL 192.168.10.1. We use the default password, which is admin. If you have problems with the language, simply click the globe on the right-hand side and select English. Once you've successfully logged in, you'll see the screen that demonstrates all four functions this device can do. To change the password, simply navigate to System, Change Password. You're going to type in the old password, which is admin, and then a new password. After the password's saved, you'll be automatically kicked out, and you have to re-log in. The next thing you want to do is set the time. You do this by setting your time region and then updating.
There are several functions this device can do. A router, which you would hook your cable modem into the WAN port. A bridge, which you would hook one access point into the LAN, and the other one into the LAN, and then have them talk to each other. The repeater would simply use Wi-Fi to repeat the signal. We are going to set up an access point. Simply click on access point and set your IP address. I've left it default here. I'll now set my SSID, my SSID password, change the country to USA, and then click Next. You'll now have to change the 5.8 gigs SSID and password. After clicking Finish, you can now plug in your LAN port. This will now supply internet to your access point. You've now completed all the steps to set up your device as an access point. If you wanted to set up your device as a bridge, the only difference is you'll have to scan for another access point within your area that it can pick up on. This will again allow you to connect the LAN line into it and backfeed the internet. Many people have complained about seeing Chinese when they first enter the console of the device. Simply click the globe and select English. This will fix that issue. In the beginning of the video I explained that you should keep the landline unplugged. This is due to DHCP trying to connect your device. One of the main errors is this screen here, no internet found, and you're unable to connect to the device. Simply unplug the landline and restart the access point. You should be able to get into the console then. 